Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the double angle formulas. And so to find these, we're going to be using the angle addition formulas, which I've written down in this red box here. So if you're unfamiliar with where these formulas come from, then I'll link the video I've made on that in the description. So you can go and watch that video, then come back and see this one. Okay. And all we're going to do, we'll start off by looking at sine of A plus B first. Okay. And I'm even going to bring this formula down like this. So we're looking at sine of A plus B. All I'm going to do is say, well, let's replace the B with an A. So wherever there's a B, I'm going to say that is now equal to A. So let's write that down. We're saying that we're letting the B equal A. Let's substitute that in and let's see what happens. So we get sine of A plus A. Well, that's equal to sine of A multiplied by cosine of A plus cosine of A multiplied by sine of A. Okay. And so if we just simplify this, we get that sine of 2A is equal to two lots of sine of A multiplied by cosine of A. And that is our first double angle formula. I can highlight it here like this. So this is the first double angle formula. Let's look at the next one and I'm going to do the exact same thing, but this time we're going to be using cosine of A plus B. Okay. And again, I'm going to say, well, let's replace the B with an A. Let's say that B equal A. And if we do that, we get cosine of A plus A. Well, that's equal to cosine of A, cosine of A. Subtract sine of A multiplied by sine of A. And again, let's simplify this and we get, well, cosine of 2A is equal to cosine squared of A. Subtract sine squared of A. Now, this one has different options, okay? We could actually write this differently still, okay? So that's one of our double angle formulas for cosine of 2A. But we could also use the trig identity that says that, well, sine squared of, say, A plus cosine squared of A, well, that's identical to one, okay? And so I could subs rearrange this and substitute it in. So let's say we rearrange it. So we say that cosine squared of A is equal to one subtract sine squared of A. I'm now going to substitute that in to my double angle formula or where I have cosine squared of A. And if I do that, we say that, well, or cosine of 2A could be equal to, well, one minus sine squared of A subtract sine squared of A. And so we get that it's the same as one subtract two lots of sine squared of A. So it could also be written like that, cos of 2A. Or if we were to rearrange the other way, we would get that, well, sine squared of A is identical to one minus cosine squared of A. Okay, so let's write it down again. Or cosine of 2A could be equal to cosine squared of A subtract one minus cosine squared of A. And if we rearrange this or simplify this, we get that it's equal to two cosine squared of A subtract one. Okay, and so there are three more double angle formulas for cosine of 2a, and I'll highlight all of them here. Okay, hopefully that's pretty clear where they come from. And so the final one we're going to look at is if we have tan of 2a. So let's bring down this one to here. And again, obviously, we're going to do the same logic. So I'm going to say let uh, b be equal to a. And so we get tan of a plus a is going to be equal to tan of a plus tan of A, all divided by one minus tan of A multiplied by tan of A, which we can obviously simplify down and we get two lots of tan of A, all divided by one minus tan squared of A is equal to tan of 2A like that. And that is the final double angle formula we're going to look at. So hopefully this video made sense. If it did, like, subscribe and share and go over to my YouTube channel where I've got tons more of maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.